Step one, using the zebra strip tapes provided, lay a rectangular frame around the vehicle, making sure each line can be shown in the according camera view. Lay the lines as close and as parallel as possible to the vehicle body. Step two, lay the calibration mats. Make sure that each mat can completely be shown in the according single camera view and that all sides are equally lit and not in direct sunlight. Measure the length, width, and the chest position of each mat. The chest position is the length from the middle point of the left or right mat to the back. Make sure that the middle point of each mat is just below the camera. Step four, enter the calibration login screen. Default code is six zeros. Click AVM calibrate and enter the length, width, and chest position in centimeters as measured previously. Blending angle can be left at the default setting of 33. Calibration mats come in two different grid sizes, 20 centimeters and 40 centimeters. This particular grid size for larger vehicles is 40. Enter the chessboard interface. Ensure that the chessboard size as displayed on the screen exactly matches the actual chessboard size as it is outside the vehicle. For example, in front of us is the rear edge chessboard. As you can see, it is four on the bottom and five on the sides, which matches as displayed on the screen of the four by five. Proceed to do the same check for the other five chessboards. Once this is done, save the parameters and then click on the calibrate button. Wait for the system to finish calibrating. This should take a couple minutes before we see the calibration success message. And as you can see, we have our 360 view displayed on the screen.